Hi everyone, Flick here from Sleek Ballet Fitness and in this video I am going to show you ways how you can achieve a split in second. So that's a middle split or a split where you're facing forward and your legs are out either side, not the front splits, forward and back, there's another video for that. Um, yeah, splits in second and Everybody always wants to do this one, and I think it is the hardest one out of the two. Um, I've been a professional dancer for a very long time, and it is, an, it is kind of a requirement to be able to do the splits, but there are lots of areas in the body that you need to release or you need to make more open or more supple, rather than just the inside thighs. So stay with me throughout the video. I'm gonna give you several different exercises that are gonna help with your splits in second, and at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a common mistake that everybody makes, and show you how to fix it so that you don't make that same mistake. So yeah, pop a mat down, grab a cup of tea, and let's do some splits. Okay, so it's a good idea to maybe be a little bit warm before you attempt all this. So you might want to have done a workout or at least done four or five minutes of cardio. We always want our body to be warm. Our muscles are always more open. So good idea to have done that first. I'm gonna assume that you have. And meanwhile, let's get going. So the first thing we're gonna do is open the inside thighs and try and get some release into our hips. So I want you to join the soles of your feet together. We call this frogs. And take hold of your ankles. Try to avoid taking hold of your little toes because what happens is as we start to pull up from the little toes, we sickle the foot. So we're overstretching the outside of the foot. And as dancers, that's not the area that we want to overstretch. We want to give a nice long line at the end of our leg. So if you can, take hold of your ankles or maybe the soles of your feet. And then sit up nice and tall, roll your shoulders down your back. What we're gonna try and do here is release out the lower back as well as the inside thighs and the hips. So imagine there's a wall behind you. Use your arm strength to lift you up nice and tall. Take a breath in and as you breathe out, just imagine the knees going down to the floor. Don't worry if they don't. They might go an inch, they might go three inches. It doesn't really matter. And again, draw in. As you do, allow the legs to lift. The knees come back up to the ceiling and breathe out. And again, breathe in. Sit up nice and tall, remember, and breathe out. And again, breathe in. Feel lifted up from the top of the head and breathe out. We're going to make this a bigger range of motion now. So as you breathe in, Sit up nice and tall, imagine that wall behind you and as you breathe out, draw your chin to your chest, allow your elbows to relax, your chest to soften, look down towards your heels. Again, breathe in. So just increasing this range of moment, motion, working into the spine, breathe out. And again, breathe in. So you stay facing me, I'm gonna face the side, breathe out. So you can see what's happening with my back here. And again, one more time, breathe in. So my spine is long and look what happens to my bottom, the bottom area of my spine. Breathe out, chin to chest. I'm making a C shape with my back, good. Sit up nice and tall. Find that long spine again and just walk your heels about two inches away from you. Press your elbow onto the inside, the fleshy bit of your knee, not your kneecap. The same thing on the other side. And interlace your fingers. Cross your fingers, cross your thumbs. And what we want to do is find some resistance to really work into our inside thighs here and also release again into our hips because it's important areas. So, elbows into that fleshy part, draw your knees up, and chase your fingers. And I want you to imagine your knees are trying to touch but your elbows are pushing them away. Draw your tummy through to your spine and let's count for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One. This time, as you release out, can you walk your fingertips behind you, point them away from you, and then lift the chest and allow the knees to sink towards the mat. It'll feel a little bit easier after that sequence that we just took. We have lots of these stretches here in our flex stretch and tone workouts. I highly recommend them. You need to drop, pop over to the site for that or get us on the app. So elbows in, sit up nice and tall. Cross your fingers and cross your thumbs. And knees in again for eight, seven, six, five. So what this is doing is this is literally putting tension through those inside thighs, through your adductor muscles, so that when you release, the muscles want to release even harder. Fingertips behind you, lift up, look to the ceiling. This is a high release. You want your breastbone up towards the ceiling. Open your shoulders. As you do, the knees sink down towards the mat. Don't force them. Let's do this twice more. You're gonna feel great by the time we come to do these bits. So elbows in, squeeze again, and get that resistance. Almost get a tremble for seven. Six, five, four, three, two, 
one. Now you've got options here. If you're feeling like you are flexible, but you just need that extra kick, then maybe you want to lift up and not just lift the breastbone, but take that tailbone off the floor as well. Check that you're open through your shoulders. No pain into your shoulders, elbows, or wrists. And lower down options. Keep the bottom to the floor. Remember, work to your stage, work to your level. And again, elbows come out, knees come in, tummy draws through to the spine for eight, seven, six, five, good, four, three, two, one, and release down. Maybe this time you walk your heels a little closer, hands behind you, either just lifting through the chest, a high release, or lifting the bottom off the floor, letting gravity take those knees down. And release bottom to the floor, good. So take one leg out, let's work into a half split here. Heel comes towards you, leg goes out, and then fingertips come either side. We don't want to lean away from this leg, we want to lift up nice and tall, flex your foot. Get a lengthen down the back of this leg. Slide your hand down, see maybe if you can reach up and over your big toe. Don't worry if you can't, take hold of your shin. From here, take the arm up and over, lengthen towards the big toe, and lift back up. Find second position. Squeeze a little further now. See if you can reach to the ball of the foot. Take it up and over. And lift back up. And again, lengthen up and over. Or sliding down. You can also work into the inside of this leg as well if it's too much to get down to those toes. And lift back up. And one more time. Reach up and over. See now if you can start to bend the elbow. Lengthen a little bit deeper into your side waist. Most importantly, draw those toes back towards your shin. We're going to release it off. Hand comes to the floor. Point your toe. Oh, that feels nice. Sweep the arm past you up to a fifth position. Lift the hips up and lower down. Reach the arms. Flex the foot. Again, so now stretching across the front of the hip and lower and flex. Again, point the toe over the top and lift, look up to that top corner, down, bottom goes down, flex the foot, sit up tall, and point the toe, lift up, and lower down, flex that foot, sit up, see how much easier it is already, before it was probably harder, you had to use those fingertips, now you're sitting upright, beautiful, loosen everything off, give them a little shake, and switch those legs, do whatever you need to do. I'm in our UK studio, this beautiful studio, so I'm not at home today. We've been training our sleep trainers coming to a studio near you. And they did a good job. Well done everyone, if you're watching. So we're ready on the second side. So fingertips to the floor. And again, just feel where your body is. Sit up nice and straight, two sitting bones into the mat. And then sliding the hand, if you can, reach the big toe or the calf. And pull the bra comes up and over. Just take it slowly. We're doing four sets, and lift back up. So you remember, you don't need to go as deep on the first set as you do by the fourth set, just allow your body to open. That's the trick as well with splits. Slide down, all the way towards that leg. Try to keep this shot, top shoulder from rolling forward, keep it back, and lift, and here's gonna be our last one. If you wish, this is the time you're gonna bend that elbow. One day this top arm's gonna reach that finger, this one. Good, and then we'll counter that, hand to the floor, hip comes forward, and roll down, release, flex the foot, again, point the toes, hips come forward, and lower down, keep breathing for me everyone, the second you hold the breath, we're not oxygenating the muscles, and that's no good if you want to get into the splits, or do anything that involves suppleness and flexibility. Lower down, flex the foot again. Feel how much easier it is to sit up nice and tall. Good, from here, take your hands behind you. And I'm gonna come sideways first. You wanna take your feet the width of the mat. So just walk your hands back. Your fingers can take, turn back or they can turn forward. It depends what's more comfortable for you. I find it a little bit more comfortable. So I'm rocking back. I'm almost making like a, a capital M. And we're just gonna now drop the knees to, over towards one side, back to centre and over towards the other side. So getting some rotation, internal as well as external rotation to release into the hips in. And out, over the top, and out from here. Slide all the way down, back onto your back. And repeat that, dropping over, and lift, dropping over, 
We've got one more area that we're going to release, and we're going to do that down on our backs. And lift, rocking over, and lift. Well done. So, walk your heels up. I'm just going to shift my microphone so I don't hurt myself. So, walking your heels up, can you just about tickle the backs of your ankles with your middle finger, knees up to the ceiling, got a hip distance apart. You're going to take one leg, flex your foot, make an L shape, and then rotate again from your hip socket. Guide your leg with your hands, flex your foot, press this knee back. Keep your back long along the floor, and then lift up the underneath leg, match the L shape we took. Hands around your hamstring, and then draw that underneath leg towards you. So now we're releasing out into the glute. And lower the leg down. And again, flex the foot, wrap the hands, squeeze a little further. Draw the leg towards you, keep the bottom down on the floor, lower down. We're gonna do this twice more. Lift up. And lower down. And here's our last one. We get an extra little special treat after this one because you're gonna hold it here. And if this is enough for you, you can stay here or kick that top leg up. Just get a lovely stretch into the hamstring because that's also the area that we want for our middle or side to second splits, whatever you wanna call it. We call it splits and second or box splits. Press your bottom down. I don't know why, because you don't really make the shape of a box, but there you go. And then release down. Lower that foot. Release down and again, separate your feet wide and just take one more up and over each side. Two, if that feels nice, I want another one. And then we're gonna repeat that on the other side. So draw those legs back in. Heels walk towards your bottom. Make the L shape first, draw your tummy in nice and flat. Flexed foot, so we're protecting the knee, comes onto the top of the thigh. And you lift and make a second L shape with the underneath leg. Wrap your fingers around your hamstring. Draw the leg in, breathe in. Breathe out, and release down. And again, breathe in, breathe out. And release down. Twice more, keep that tummy drawn in. Breathe in, breathe out. And release down. Here's our last one. Are you still with me? Breathe in, breathe out. And here's the extra special bonus treat. We develop it up the underneath leg, keep it flexed. Walk the hands down if that feels good. Remember, if this is too much, you stay with that first uh, position. You don't need to move on yet. And release down. Separating those knees. Again, one more rotation. And then draw the knees in. Just get a little bit of compression here. Rock and roll for me along the spine. Take a couple of times. And here's our last little thing before we're going to try those splits. Kick your heels away. Make an L shape now with your back and your legs. So you're making a capital L. Reach your arms up. And this time, flex your feet still. We're reaching both hands to the toes. We're going to walk the hands a little bit closer uh, each time we practice this towards the balls of your feet. Draw your tummy in. And give me a long spine. Good. So a long, long spine doesn't mean we're arching here. If that's, if that's happening, then you need to bring your hands back. Rest them on your thighs or maybe your shins and work here. Don't work deeper. Remember, bit by bit we'll get you down, otherwise you're just gonna stay in the same place. Thinking, why can't I do this still? If you are super flexing, you're moving on, elbows come down. And then everybody, wherever you are at the last moment, just release. As you release, the lower back gets to release, and that's an important area. Those of you that sometimes ask about this um, split position, how to do it, it's quite difficult to get that. And again, practicing this, a long spine, and then releasing, and practicing our long spine sitting up, that's all a key part of helping you get that long spine when you're in a split in second. Let's have a try. So, guide your legs out, do it safely, do it comfortably. See how that feels already. Hopefully you feel a little bit more open in the splits. Now, remember that hand position we took at the top of class? We're going to take it today. Fingertips behind you. Lift up and again, a little bit like that feeling of lifting the tailbone up. We're going to lift the tailbone up and gently forward we come. Walk the hands in. Breathe in. Breathe out. As you breathe out, bring the body forward. So, I told you I was going to give you a common mistake that everybody makes. 
it's not a pleasant one, it's not nice for your hips. What tends to happen is people start to roll their knees down towards me, so towards the screen, so that the big toes are rolling towards the floor. That's no good. Again, that means we're tightening our lower back. So lift up out of the back. Imagine you're hanging on to something. Drop yourself from a bar. Get that long spine. Draw your legs in an inch or two. Don't overgo into your split so your technique is lost. And then realign your knees and your insteps need to be facing the ceiling. If they're not, you've gone too far. Again, use your hands behind you to keep your spine long. When you've built up some strength, the core is what's gonna then hold you to sit up without your hands. If you'd like to go a step further, here it is, an extra trick. Walk your fingers forward, but again, what's happening with your knees? Are they facing the ceiling? I hope so. And lift all the way up. And to come out of it, give your legs a shake. Draw them in. Another little wiggle. Keep practicing that. Enjoy, and I'll see you in a split soon. I hope you enjoyed watching that. If you did, please click like and subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you. We've got loads more videos. Or hop over to our site, sleeptechnique.com, where you will find our full library of streaming workouts. And you can also join us in a live class and say hello to Victoria and I in person, if you, if you fancy it. So enjoy practicing your splits, and I'll see you all very soon.